The objective for this job practice is to control the movement pattern and bead width for T-joint fillet wells in the overhead position using low hydrogen electrodes. Follow the general procedure steps. Use the proper clothing, tools, and eye protection. The materials and power source settings for this exercise are listed in your workbook. A 5 to 10 amp increase on the fine current control may be necessary to obtain a smooth, steady arc in the overhead position. Position two plates to form a T-joint and make strong tack welds at each end. Then clamp the workpiece for overhead welding about two to three inches above eye level. Position the electrode 45 degrees away from the vertical plate and 90 degrees to the horizontal plane of the workpiece. Use a smooth, steady travel speed, keeping the electrode positioned in the root of the joint. Hold a tight arc length. The finished weld should have a flat to slightly convex face with equal legs one quarter inch long. For the second bead, center the electrode over the bottom toe of the first bead and use a 50 to 55 degree work angle away from the vertical plate. Deposit the second bead using a W weaving motion, pausing slightly at the top. This second bead should overlap two-thirds of the previous bead. When the bead is finished, allow the workpiece to cool and thoroughly remove the slag. For the third bead, center the electrode over the top toe of the first bead. Use a 30 to 35 degree work angle from the vertical plate and deposit the weld with a smooth, steady travel speed. When the third bead is complete, cool the workpiece and clean off all the slag. Turn the workpiece over and weld the other side of the joint using the same procedure. For additional practice, Weld the five-plate assembly as outlined in previous T-joint practices. Then call the instructor to inspect your work.